Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Happy Sunday, I'm Power of 5 meteorologist Katie McGraw, and we're waking up to dry, beautiful conditions, but we're between rounds of rain. We have rain in Buffalo, that was last night. Now we have more showers in Louisville and Indianapolis. That's all moving toward us as we get into the second half of the day. Temperatures right now, fairly mild, middle and upper 50s, but the temperatures are not climbing very much throughout the day. You notice we get into the afternoon and it's a steady 60 there, upper 50s, lower 60s. By the time we get into the afternoon, we'll also start to see a few more showers. So we're not done with the rain, the rain that's down to our south and west sweeping up toward us. These are going to be more hit or miss than yesterday, but still about a 50 to 70% chance to see these showers throughout the day, and they don't look as intense. I think lighter showers for the most part. You see them here, how they are sporadic and not everyone's seeing them at the same time. And also that green in comparison to the reds yesterday just signifies those lighter showers. But you see that motion there. That's because of the low pressure that's riding essentially right over us, keeping showers into the forecast, not only for today, but for tomorrow as well. Temperatures about 20 degrees cooler than yesterday for today. Also Monday, Tuesday, but then they drop even more by the middle of the week. Hi everyone, I'm Homa Bash. It is Sunday, April 11th. Here's a look at your top local stories. Starting tomorrow, Ohio will ramp up vaccinations by allowing businesses and organizations to partner with healthcare providers to schedule closed pod vaccinations for employees and organization members. We think we'll increase the percentage of those employees who get it. It will be more convenient. The employer will be talking about it and messaging it. Again, it's all going to be voluntary. Uh, but we think that that will increase the percentage. So any vaccine provider in the state can take up to 25% of their vaccine allocation and start conducting vaccinations of their own employees or partner with other groups to provide the shots at their job sites. Any provider looking to go beyond the 25% allocation can request a variance from the state. $5 billion in funding will be going to help the homeless find affordable housing it's part of a COVID relief package President Biden signed last month. The money will be given to more than 650 institutions, including state and local governments. Now we are learning how much Northeast Ohio will be receiving. Ohio, uh, Cleveland will get $17.7 million, while other areas like Lorraine, Summit, and Lake Counties will receive between one and a half and 1.7 million. A March report found more than half a million people experienced homelessness, on a single night in January of last year. It is uh, time to cheese the day because tomorrow is National Grilled Cheese Day. What better place to celebrate than the uh, Northeast Ohio's Gourmet Grilled Cheese Joint Melt Bar and Grilled. We love it, we all know it. This year marks Melt's 15th year anniversary. In that time, the restaurant has navigated ups and downs, expanded in nine locations, gained national attention on food shows, developed a fan base with uh, Melt tattoos. Yeah, you heard me right. And while this may sound a little cheesy, they've been showing their love for Cleveland through all of it. Cleveland is my home. I have always loved Cleveland. I'm a Cleveland collector. I love Cleveland nostalgia. Cleveland nostalgia just drips from all of our restaurants. And grilled cheese is something that everybody, every single walk of life, loves, seems to really like, you know, and we offer a lot of things for a lot of different people, but the grilled cheese is our king and a lot of people love it. So Cleveland has embraced this. And in honor of National Grilled Cheese Day, Melt will be offering 15% off their grilled cheese sandwiches today and tomorrow. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.